Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna and in today's video I want to talk to you about my fibroid journey. How I gave birth to two wonderful, lovely, beautiful baby girls and my two successful vaginal deliveries with fibroids. If you're interested in this type of thing, if you know someone or you yourself have fibroids, come on into the room. Let's chat about it, all right? Let's go ahead and chat. Get you some snacks, get some sip stuff, and I'm gonna talk to you about my experience. All right, so if you are new here, my name is Deshauna. I am a speaker, educator, doula, and mother of two. I found out that I was pregnant for the very first time in the very beginning of 2020. Oh, what a year. What a year, am I right? So I couldn't tell anyone for quite a while. I finally broke the news and then COVID hit. Let's just say this is where my story begins because all the doctor's appointments I ended up having during my pregnancy, <laughs> for the most part, my husband was not able to come with me. So because I have sickle cell disease type S, see hemoglobin they wanted to carefully monitor my sickle cell during pregnancy and so i was assigned a high-risk ob i went to go visit my high-risk ob and they did a ultrasound i feel like they did both types of ultrasounds i think they did like an internal ultrasound with the wand and then they did the one over top so either way this is when they found out that i had fibroids they counted two of them during the earlier months of my first pregnancy that there were two of them one was at the top left and one was at the bottom right they wanted to make sure that the one on the bottom right did not move or shift or do anything to cover my cervix because they did indeed want for me to have a vaginal delivery the bigger one at the top was one that they wanted to monitor as well but for different reasons both of my fibroids were outside of my uterus and so they wanted to make sure that it didn't cause any or like start to like push down on my uterus to affect the pregnancy neither of the fibroids were a problem during my pregnancy i get that question a lot was i in any pain so the bottom right stayed pretty much where it was and never covered or came close to my cervix which is great the one on the top left did as i got larger and the baby got larger definitely caused a little bit of issue but just in the way of discomfort it wasn't affecting blood supply to the baby it wasn't affecting the environment to where the baby was you know being affected by it but because I am pregnant and because there is an increased blood supply, it's also feeding the fibroid, if that makes sense. And so the fibroid was growing along with the pregnancy. There was a picture where I was laying down and there was like, it looked like a camel's back. It was like hump here and hump here. And I'm like, huh, which one is the baby? Which one is the fibroid? Like, it was so big. So toward the ninth like month of pregnancy right the the final trimester it was very uncomfortable and there were points in time where it would be like a sharp very quick jolt of, of pain or feeling and it it, just, it it wasn't anything that lasted but it was just like oh something to remind me that there's a fibroid and a baby in there let's talk about the types of fibroids depending on who you ask <laughs> there are like four i guess main types of fibroids and one of them is subserosal which i have this means that they're outside the uterus there's also intramural submucosal and then pedunculated fibroids can be inside the uterus outside the uterus inside the uterine wall the stems of the fibroids could kind of branch out and so those are the main kind of types of fibroids. Now, these are growths that are non-cancerous. Fibroids ran in my family, and so my mom had them, my grandmother had them, and I have them, and I was able to get pregnant. My husband and I were able to conceive on our own, and we, I had two vaginal deliveries. With my second pregnancy, I was pregnant in, two, in 2021 into 2022 when my second daughter was born. So I did indeed have two under two. They are 19, 
almost 20 months apart. They are the cutest little things. But during that second pregnancy is when they looked and they saw that the fibroid at the top left wasn't one fibroid. It was actually two fibroids that were like really close together. So during my first pregnancy, they were measuring this fibroid at 18 centimeters. So I made a whole video about it and I showed like the ultrasound picture and like 18 centimeter fibroid. If you don't know what 18 centimeters, so this is, is about 10 centimeters, right? Like the size of an Eggo waffle is 10 centimeters. 18, huge, okay? Huge. So there would be two nine centimeter fibroids like feet like pushed together. So instead of having two fibroids, I now have three fibroids for my second pregnancy. Same thing during that pregnancy, I was monitored very closely. I did go to the majority of my doctor's appointments alone, but that wasn't because of COVID. It was because we had a young child at home and my husband needed to watch her. When I gave birth both times, neither of my fibroids were a problem in my labor and delivery. I did go to 39 weeks with both of my pregnancies. I went to 39 weeks and five days with my first pregnancy and I went to 39 weeks and two days with my second pregnancy. I gave birth vaginally both of those times and the fibroids were not an issue. I currently still have my fibroids. So one of my daughters will be two here in a little bit and the other is three. So within those three years, going on four years later this year, they have not been an issue and I still have them. I had a very in-depth conversation with my like ultrasound tech as well as my high-risk OB about getting them removed but given my personal history, the fact that I have sickle cell, the fact that my fibroids are on the outside of my uterus, I had no issues conceiving, no issues during my pregnancy or delivery experiences, it's really not a problem and getting them removed could actually cause more issue than leaving them where they are. I have decided to leave my fibroids alone. Another question that I always get is if I'm gonna like have them removed before I have another child. So we may have another child and I do not believe that I would get them removed beforehand unless Again, something changes, but we were able to um, get pregnant. I was able to be pregnant, and then I was able to deliver both of our daughters without any issues, so there's that. A lot of people ask, like, how, like, aren't you afraid of these, or I'm so afraid of them, or, and I guess, yes, but I also have faith, and my faith is bigger than my fear, especially since I don't have anything to go on. My experience hasn't been scary. My experience has not been risky in the sense of my fibroids, so I am not feeling any fear or, or anxiety around it. I also am very familiar with my body and labor and birth and delivery anyway as a trained doula, but I that doesn't mean that that's not the case for other people. I find that people who have found my fibroid videos in the past often come with a lot of fear or like they just heard that they have fibroids and, and, it, and it is causing them pain. And again, it's going to be really about each individual case and like what your what type of fibroids you have and what other kind of health situations that you you are going through people have fibroids and they just assume that they can't have kids and that's not true some people are indeed trying to conceive but are unsuccessful that doesn't always have to be because of the fibroids but it definitely can be an issue for some if you are someone who has realized that you do have fibroids, you have been told that you have fibroids, I would first find out what type of fibroids they are and I would have them tell you like about how many. I would have you also talk to them about removal and if 
it is an option or a, a best practice in your situation if you are struggling to conceive i would ask if it is because of your fibroids or not because again it could be a plethora of different reasons why someone might be having problems conceiving and if you do have fibroids and let's say you are pregnant there is a possibility like you can totally carry your babies to term and give birth and even give birth vaginally it really just all depends so i understand that a lot of people are coming to youtubes we're coming to youtube university we are trying to learn and get information i just want to put my real life story out there of how i had two extremely large and one other tinier one fibroids while also having two successful pregnancies and labor and deliveries in, in in my view of what is successful and the fact that I had two vaginal deliveries as well. I want you to know that although you might be scared, although you have a lot of questions, please keep track of your questions, please get answers to your questions, but also know that it's not the end all be all there's possibilities i don't want you to think because you have fibroids you automatically can't conceive you automatically cannot give birth you automatically can't carry your pregnancy to term that is not true i want you to get all the information that you can i want you to ask questions about your individual situation and get input if you feel like you need a second or third opinion do that as well and if you are being advised to have surgery to remove them go ahead and ask questions about what different types of surgeries there are and if it always has to be surgical there are other methods and so definitely just get as much information as you can about your experience but i just wanted to share my experience with giving birth two different times with large fibroids and it was okay it was okay in my case so i just wanted to add my story to the mix if you have any questions for me go ahead and leave them down below in the comments go ahead and give this video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more content like this and go ahead and check out the playlist. I'm gonna leave it up in the card somewhere, but also down in the description box below. My playlist of all of my update videos on fibroids and even the ultrasound of them seeing it, like, oh, that's a fibroid. Like, yeah, I have all of that. I recorded all of that. Go ahead and take a look at the playlist. Stick around, stay for a while. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you right back here in my next video. As always, remember to fill your cup. Bye.